Good morning to those of you that are reading Island of the Blue Dolphins. Today is chapter six. After Kimki had gone one moon, had been gone one moon, we began to watch for his return. Every day someone went to the cliff to scan the sea. Even on stormy days we went, and on days when fog shrouded the island. During the day there was always a watcher on the cliff. And each night, as we sat around our fires, we wondered if the next sun would bring him home. But the spring came and left, and the sea was empty. Kimki did not return. There were few storms that winter, and rain was light and ended early. This meant that we would need to be careful of water. In the old days, the spring sometimes ran low and no one worried, but now everything seemed to cause alarm. Many were afraid that we would die of thirst. There are other things more important to ponder, said Metasep, who had taken Kimki's place. Metasep meant the Alouettes, the Alouts, for it was now that time of year when they had come before. Watchers on the cliff began to look for the red sails, and a meeting was held to plan what to do if the Aleuts returned. We lacked the men to keep them from landing or to save our lives if they attacked us, which we were certain they would. Plans were therefore made to flee as soon as their ship was sighted. Food and water were stored in canoes, and these were hidden on the rocks at the south end of the island. The cliffs were steep, here and very high, but we wove a stout rope of bull cup and fastened it to the rocks at the top of the cliff so that it hung to the water. As soon as the Aleut ship was sighted, we would all go to the cliff and let ourselves down, one at a time. I'm gonna wait until my dog Thor sits down. <laughs> He's kind of loud. As soon as the Aleut ship was sighted, we would all go to the cliff and let ourselves down one at a time. We would then leave in our canoes for the island of Santa Catalina. Although the entrance to Coral Cove was too narrow for a ship to pass through safely at night, men were sent there to watch the cove from dusk to dawn. Besides, those who watched during the night, during the day. Shortly afterwards, on a night of fine moon, one of the men came running back to the village. Everyone was asleep, but he cr his cries quickly awakened us. The Aleuts, he shouted, the Aleuts! It was news we expected. We were prepared for it. Yet there was much fear in the village of Galast. Metasap strode from the hut to hut, telling everyone to be calm and not to lose time packing things that would not be needed. I took my skirt of yucca fiber, however, for I had spent many days making it, and it was very pretty and also my otter cape. Quietly we filed out of the village along the trail that led us toward to the place our canoes were hidden. The moon was growing pale and there was a faint light in the east, but a strong wind began to blow. We had gone no further than half a league when we were overtaken by the man who had given the warning. He spoke to Metasap, but we all gathered around to listen. I went back to the cove after I gave the alarm, he said. When I got there, I could see the ship clearly. It is beyond the rocks that guard the harbor. It is a smaller ship than the one which belonged to the Aleuts. The sails are white instead of red. Could you see anyone? Metasep asked. No. It is not the same ship which was here last spring. No. Metasep was silent, pondering the news. Then he told us to go on to where the canoes were and wait for him for he was going back it was light now 
and we went over the dunes to the edge of the cliff and stood there while the sun rose. The wind grew cold, but fearing that those but fearing that those on the ship would see the smoke, we did not start a fire. Though we had a meal to cook for breakfast, instead we ate small quantities of dried abalone, and afterwards my brother Ramo climbed over the cliff. No one had been down to the rocks since the canoes were hidden, so we did not know whether they were still safe or not. While he was gone, we saw a man running across the dunes. It was Nanko, carrying a message from Atasap. He was sweating in spite of the cold, and he stood trying to catch his breath. We all waited, waited, urging him to talk, but his face was happy, and we knew that he brought good news. Speak, everyone said in a chorus. I have been running for more than a league, he said. I cannot talk. You are talking, someone said. Speak, Nanko, speak, cried many voices. Nanko was having fun with us. He threw out his chest and took a deep breath. He looked around at the circles of faces, as if he did not understand why everyone was staring at him. The ship, he said at last, saying the word slowly, does not bring our enemies the loot. There are white men on the ship, and they have come from the place where Kim Ki went when he left our island. Has Kim Ki returned? An old man broke in. No, but it is but it is he who saw the white men and told them to come here. What do they look like? Ulap asked. Are there boys on the ship? asked Ramo, who had come back with his mouth full of something. Everyone seemed to be talking at once. Nanko made his face stern, which was hard for him to do because his mouth had been cut in the battle with the Aleuts, and ever since it had always seemed to smile. He held, held up his hand for silence. The ship has come for one reason, he said, to take us away from glass. To what place? I asked. It was good news that the ship did not belong to the Aleuts. But where would the white men take us? I do not know to what place, he said. Kim Ki knows, and he has asked the white men to take us there. Saying no more, Nanko turned, and we followed him. We were fearful of where we were going, yet we were happy too. So that is all our reading for this week of Island of the Blue Dolphins. But you do need to finish your reading response sheet for chapters 4, 5, and 6. If you haven't done classifying words from chapter 4, please do that. Yesterday was chapter 5, and there's a place, um, or there's a sheet called Remembering Details. All of this sheet is only on chapter 5. If you look close in your reading response pages, each time it will give you the chapter from where those questions are from. Today's assignment is to do the vocabulary for chapters 4, 5, and 6. Tomorrow there is a quiz on chapters 1 through 5. We will talk about the quiz tomorrow and finish the quiz tomorrow. Today, get the first four pages done for chapters 4, 5, and 6. Thank you.